This is Ozark's Fox AM. Welcome back to the second hour of Ozark's Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Rabe. Thanks so much for tuning in on this Tuesday morning. Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Why does it feel like Thursday? <laughs> No, Already. it's not. It's, it is it's so not. Definitely not. I know the weeks sometimes go by fast, but we're so busy. We it, do. Last week was so crazy, crazy. Yes. With the Super Bowl and all, we had a lot of extra shoots and that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, but that's behind us now. This yes. week feels pretty, pretty okay. And it does. In general, it does. And so I'm looking forward to, I always say, oh, if I can just get through this week, it'll be good. If I can get through this <laughs> week. But that's every week. Every week something's going on. Every week something's and happening. Yes, absolutely. And the weather was beautiful last weekend. Mm -hmm. And I told you I got my bulbs in. Yes, and, thank goodness. Yes, and I'm anxious to, for those to come up. But they were already coming up in my garage. Yes, I had some onions from my. I still have onions from my garden last year, and I yeah. keep them. Uh, you can store them a, a variety of ways, but I tend to keep them in a dark, uh, not cold and not hot space in my garage. Oh, okay. So they're dark, but the like onions. Like a paper bag. Yes, kind of like a that. Paper bag. But in a in a old milk crate also mm -hmm. though to keep them organized. But they have started they coming have, up as yeah, well. Yeah, it, it's onions. just been warm enough outside. That um, and I was thinking this morning we're already into February. Yes. What's the date? Wait, today? Look, I'm looking. February fifth. February, February 5th. 5th. Okay, uh, it's it's kind of sneaking up, and that's yes. good because uh, how many days until spring? Oh, who knows? Elisa, do you know? Forty or fifty something. It's maybe it's less than fifty. I think now. it's forty something because the other day I it checked was it was fifty exactly. Yeah, exactly. I should have googled that. Yes. Yeah. So coming up, um, spring's coming up. Here's what I'm hoping and praying though. Here's what I don't yes. like about Missouri and about the weather we've been having. Okay. When it's, it goes from nice in the 60s mm -hmm. to cold again, and then nice in the 60s to cold again, and it. It messes up my plants and my trees, oh, I know. and I don't like it. I know. Well, we have done a little bit of that. I, even this this uh, weekend, it was so warm. I'm like, oh, are the snakes coming out? Are they peeking their heads out? You know, it makes me nervous because right? I'm stepping on a whole bunch of leaves, and I'm thinking, are they under there? I have a phobia of snakes. I mean it. I just I don't. Do I mean, I don't mind them as long as they leave me alone. Like I found lots of snakes in my yard. I'm just like, hey there. Yeah. You go do your thing, and I'll do my thing. Just stay over there. Are they black snakes or garter snakes? I think they're gar garter yeah. snakes, and I've never seen anything that looks poisonous. Well, I've to had me. poisonous snakes in my yard. That's what's scary. Now, as long as they just stay away from me and my dogs. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We used to have a snake farm down the road. I do not know why. It's like snake farm. I'm like, if these guys ever get loose, do we have? What do we have in there? Do we have rattlesnakes in there? And it, the, it's someone bought it, so I hope they took all their snakes. Why with them. do you want a farm of snakes? I have no idea. I never Who went in there. Who even would want that? Not me. Not me. Not me either. All right. Well, speaking of the weather and spring coming, Elisa Raffo, you got to catch us up on what's happening. In today's weather. Yeah, today is going to be a little interesting because we'll have very large temperature differences across the Ozarks today. We're starting out at 38 degrees in Branson with some low clouds and some patchy to locally dense fog. Visibility has really taken a hit in spots a quarter mile in the West Plains, less than that in Branson, about three quarters of a mile up uh, from Fort Leonard Wood, Rolla, and Camdenton this morning. We've got mostly cloudy to overcast conditions, and the clouds are going to hang around as we have through the day today. The temperature change. From this time yesterday is about 20 to 30 degrees. We just plunged behind that cold front that came through yesterday. It's 38 in Springfield, 36 in Mountain Grove, and 29 up at Lake of the Ozarks. As you head out the door today, we're going to keep the cloud cover. We'll have showers start to spark later on in the day. Temperatures in Springfield will be mild in the 50s, but not all of us will get that warm. We'll have cloud cover through the day, and maybe a couple of spotty showers by dismissal. Then we'll really start to see these showers flourish by this evening and over. Overnight, some locally heavy rain and thunder likely in there, even as we head through the day tomorrow. Again, the temperatures today will have a warm air mass pierce the Ozarks, but not all of it. So some of us make it into the 60s. Some of us get stuck in the 40s. Uh, we're looking at that split temperature overnight tonight. Temperatures warmer in the 60s tomorrow. 64 degrees with showers and thunder on Wednesday. That warm, humid air mass is going to fuel a threat for severe weather. A marginal risk for severe weather includes Springfield. All modes of severe weather possible. That's tornado, large hail, damaging winds, and localized flesh flooding. We'll have some rainfall totals up to two inches possible down to the south and east on ground. That is already saturated, so that could pose an issue, especially near those rivers and creeks that are pretty susceptible to this kind of flooding. Then temperatures tumble on Thursday. We drop to 12 degrees by Friday morning. Cold sunshine Friday afternoon. Jeremy Kelly. Thank you, Elisa.
I wish she had better news for it. I know. Well, I don't. All oh, the rain. The ground is already. At least, isn't the 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 ground at my house is so uh, wet? Oh, that, oh, it is. You yeah. know, like I told you, I didn't uproot my tree, but my trees are leaning over in from the oh, ground. Oh, really? When it no. snowed a few weeks ago, and then when it snowed again, and then it was the rain, the weather, yeah, and yeah. then the wind blew, and so some of my evergreen trees were like this. I've oh. had to stake them up because the ground is so wet. It, we've had a pretty active wet winter, and ha again, it hasn't even been a lot of snow. Some of it has been rain events, and, and that's where we could see some of that flooding concern on Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. Are those new trees? Yeah, well, two years old. Okay. Two wow. years, but still you would think they'd had enough roots. Have a better roots. <laughs> After two like years, yeah. then to go like yeah. this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, All at right. least to wrap up quickly. Are we almost out of rain season? Rainy season? We're, going, we're about to spearhead into the severe weather season. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> Don't bring it up. into the weather. Don't bring it up, Lisa. Sorry. Right. Thank Bye, you Dad. so much, Elisa. All right, coming up, Kaylee will be live at MSU. Don't go anywhere. we got to pop those trees up. I'm going to zip my mouth. Not talking about rain. <laughs> zip it. It's just getting started. That's